I'm Raya from Active Health Clinic and today I wanted to speak to you about the fact that you might be looking at your recovery wrong. So in recovery or, or management of a chronic illness, our main focus is to be able to do more or feel better. And this is what we evaluate our progression in um, or our management in. And if we don't see that we're doing more or if we don't see that we're feeling better, we assume that we're not getting anywhere. And we know that with any form of chronic illness, it is about slow, gradual progressions and upward steps. And sometimes it's two steps forward and one step back. And sometimes it's two steps forward and two steps back. And that's completely normal in a chronic illness. So what most people are okay at identifying in terms of progression is that most people are able to see if they're doing more or if they're feeling better. Um, but some people are able to identify that they may see a decrease in their symptoms. They may see a decrease in how they're feeling um, in terms of how crappy they're feeling. Um, or they may see a decrease in setbacks. So these are the things that we get okay at identifying. But we also sometimes need to remind ourselves and really check in to see if we're looking for those um, and if we are celebrating those milestones along the way. But there are also other ways to see whether we are progressing and other ways to identify how well we are doing in terms of our, our management of our condition. So these can be, um, we see a decrease in the intensity or the severity of symptoms, or we see an increase in our overall endurance. We also see a decrease in the frequency of symptoms and how often they're popping up or how debilitating they actually may be. We see a decrease or a shortening in recovery time, so you're recovering faster. Um, sometimes we also see an overall endurance capacity that on a whole you're tolerating things just a little bit better than they used to. But another thing is identifying the setbacks that you didn't have or the symptoms you didn't get. And this is the one that we're generally really bad at because we're all about problem solving. We are all about the next thing and the next step and getting over that setback and getting back to being better and then progressing and doing more. And I could say a lot of that and keep going because that's just the vicious cycle that is a chronic illness. But what a lot of people forget to do is really check in and see how well they are doing what they're doing that is managing their condition and what they're doing that is actually promoting steps forward within their health. And a big one in that is setbacks that you didn't experience or bad days that you didn't experience or the symptom that you didn't get because your management or your pacing was fantastic. So what I encourage people to do is A, make sure that you're checking in and making sure that you are pacing, but also check in to see and celebrate wins. It is really, really important that along the way you focus on celebrating your achievements because your body doesn't do that for you, unfortunately. The progression that we see is that you feel less and less crappy over time and the amazing things that we're doing for our health, they don't fix things straight away and your body doesn't cheer you on and go, yay, great, this is amazing. So it's really important to keep in mind that it is about celebrating things and it is about those milestones because they are really important to be able to identify because they give us that validation that we are doing the right things, but sometimes we need to actively seek them, okay, and look for them. So I hope that makes sense and I encourage you to celebrate your wins. I encourage you to actually look for them and celebrate them and give yourself a pat on the back because I know how hard that is to do in a chronic illness, but I also know how important it is to do when dealing with a chronic illness. So in our Facebook group, we actually have the weekly Wednesday wins and every single Wednesday morning, we put up a post and we encourage everyone in that group to celebrate a win that they've achieved that week. And that might be that they had a shower and didn't feel symptomatic. That may be that they've started their walking regime again after three months. That may be that they're able to see their friend with no symptoms. That may be that they went, they, um, what am I trying to say? They went to bed on time every day for a week. All of these things to potentially a normal or a healthy person, they kind of go, yeah, so what? But these are really, really big wins in a chronic illness world and it's really important that we celebrate them. So today, I encourage you to have a look at the progressions in ways that you may not have been looking for it 
And I encourage you so, so much to celebrate your wins along the way and celebrate you because you are dealing with a chronic illness and that is one of the hardest things ever. And it's really important that you be kind to yourself along the way. So if you're interested, you're welcome to join our group and celebrate in the Wednesday wins. There is a link below and we hope to see you soon.